Um, at the beginning, when we started uh, to sell the snowflakes, we were only selling it as a loose stone. And I remember the first year in Tucson, all the designers would come and first thing they see is the snowflake. They think, oh, this is a beautiful stone, I've got to have it. So we were selling them, left, right and center. These designers were buying them. They'd take them back. And then a year later in Tucson, they would come back to us and say, uh, here's the stone that I bought from you. I don't know what to do with it. So uh, how, like, how do we put it into a piece of jewelry? And so my brother and I decided, well, if you can't do it, we're going to have to start designing jewelry as well. And so we came up with designs and started making our own jewelry for the snowflakes. A big problem with jewelry design for a snowflake is that if there's too much metal around the stone, it kills the shape of the snowflake. So you have to come up with a way of mounting it that, that actually shows the stone properly. And that's not a, an, an easy thing to do.